Hello, welcome back to the Real Lego series. Yes, it's been so long since I since our last video. So this time we should do something great. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? Well, actually, see this uh, MacBook over here. This is actually this is actually I don't know if I'll believe it, but this is a ten year old MacBook. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. This year is 2023, the year of 2023, and this MacBook it was made in 2013. So, yeah, this is the year 2023. Why do I keep forgetting that? I always forget. I always forgot it was 2022 and it was January 2022. Anyway, let's see. So, what are we actually gonna do with this MacBook? Ah, yes. Today, we're going to take a look at this MacBook and kind of play with it because because no one will mind playing with it since it's already broken. No one has used it for seven years. It hasn't even been charged for seven years, so so I 99% doubt that it won't work. Actually, I've done, actually I've tried to power button before it doesn't work, so yeah. But since this but since this MacBook since this MacBook is gonna be uh, a spoiler and this is um our fifty six subscriber special this isn't really a subscriber special so yeah first before we actually start seeing the MacBook. I think I need some tissues for my hands because why not? Since I'm my hands are getting gonna get dirty. Take a look at this MacBook. Oh my gosh, that is a disgust. I mean, you can have a MacBook, but I won't. But even if somebody was showing me a MacBook, giving it to me, I I still wouldn't get it on slap dirty. So. Then no. Depends. So, yeah, this is our good old tissue. Uh, we should get this MacBook out of here. Why? Okay, so this is actually a MacBook Air, but this was made 10 years ago, so it wasn't really made to be Air. Boom. So, uh, oh my god. Yeah, you can see. Oh. Hey, somehow there's no smell. You can see this uh, MacBook Air, so that, yeah, that, that proves that it's a MacBook Air, right? That's enough to prove that's a MacBook Air. That's the power button. Seriously, guys, I'm not kidding. I've tried it. it does not work. But, that click is actually still usable. That click is good. So, uh... If it was still turned on, I would probably use it as an old computer. Because... It only came five years after the iPhone 1. Okay, I, I think that's... Five years is a lot, but... But, I mean... This laptop is actually... A shoulder than me, so so yeah. Cause, cause, yeah. Okay, so whatever. This is the MacBook here. All the keys are okay. We have this command option control. It's if you have an if you have a MacBook, if you've ever used Mac before, then you know how to use those. I I don't have MacBook. I use Windows. Yeah, just like I was saying, I accidentally uh. Press it. Yeah, if you use if you use Mac, then you know how to use that. I use uh, Windows Eleven. Anyway, the oh my God, the screen so dirty. But uh, the front camera is actually it's pretty good for a ten year old laptop. It I mean it's, I'm not saying this is bigger than the front camera in my laptop, 
of a ten year old? It came out at one. Uh, for facts, you probably didn't know, but uh, t the uh, the first iPhone that had a uh, front camera was the iPhone four, and uh, this came out the year of the iPhone five. I think. And so, I'm not sure. This has a front camera. Does it have to do anything with the iPhone? I don't know, but yeah. Apple came one year before Android, so I don't know what to say. If you guys like Mac, then choose Mac. If you like Windows, then choose Windows. So, yeah, this is practically the book. So, yeah, you can see the Apple logo. The Apple logo glows. If you didn't know, Apple stops the logo glowing. I like the glowing Apple logo, actually, but, yeah. If you look here, it's very thin. You may think that the laptop's thinner than this, but if you jump back to what I said, then this is a 10-year-old laptop, and 10-year-olds were not meant to be this thin, so the air really was an air back then. I can't say this is... Oh, my God. I can't say this is very... Well... Yeah. I can't say this is actually light. It's actually pretty heavy. I think it's just as heavy as my 1.5 kilogram Dalian book. I have my laptop. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, I think this is this laptop is actually aged better because it's actually aged better. Well, ahead of its time. It's pretty ahead of its time. Laptops were not meant to be this thin. Laptops were just meant to be a laptop. So, yeah. But this may surprise you. Okay, I just found out there's a speaker over there. But anyway, you may not know this, but... This laptop gets surprisingly thin when it can get thin. This part can fit a USB... This part, you're kidding me, Apple. <sighs> this is like uh, a third of my finger. My finger! Uh, yeah, so a third of my finger. Wait a second. That is so thin. So I found out a thing about Apple MacBooks. It. MacBook is when they can get thin, they get thin. Yeah, that's what I wanted to tell about this book. This it, because I mean, this I actually like the concept of this one. It's like it's supremely thin. That is not okay. It's supremely thin, but at the same time, it's you can still do what you want to do. Uh, if there's a headphone jack, USB ports, uh, um, one more USB port, the Apple charger, the SD card slot. There is no, uh, there is no Type C or USB C port. There were no USB C. I mean, I mean there were USB Cs back then, but but phones and uh, books did not use them, so. Yeah, but anyway, this, as I was saying, I love this concept. It's like, you can have fin if you want fin, but you can still do the things you want with USBs. So, yeah, makes two purposes. Well, it makes three purposes if you use it today. Well, one purpose is actually not really a purpose. It's just, it's not really an ear today. It's like, Normal laptop you want to you want it to weigh you don't want it to weigh more than that but you think it's fine but it'll be better if it's lighter I mean this is ten years ago I just like I was saying I just told you the first but the second it's really great you can again you can still do the things you want and it's supremely thin so I oh. 
So at the same time, you can show off. Okay, not really show off, but it's just thin, and you can still do the things you want on the other side, which is not really thin. And then the third poop is, it's just this, well, it's aged better. It's aged ahead of its time. It has a good screen. It doesn't look bad. It's good keyboard. I see how people can still use this today. The touchpad is supremely good. The glowing Apple logo, some people like that. The Apple somehow did not like that, I think. Yeah, so if you're considering this, if you're considering MacBooks, then this is my suggestion. Buy a MacBook if you're not a Windows person. And another one is if you just like the specs of the Mac. Or well, one thing if you're tired of Windows and yeah. And of and of course, if you're a fan of Mac, you can always buy Mac. If you're a fan of Windows, you can always buy Windows. So, yep. I guess that's about it for today. So, the Lego series. See you in the next one.